Enceladus has been observed blasting water vapor into space, and now, thanks to the Cassini spacecraft, we have actually collected a sample of this vapor. After finding organic molecules in the vapor, some scientists believe that Enceladus could be home to a subsurface ocean, hosting alien life. Stick around to find out what we saw on this strange moon. Discovered in 1789 by William Herschel, Enceladus is Saturn's sixth largest moon, although it's only around a seventh of the size of our moon. Covered mostly by fresh, clean ice, it is one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system, causing the moon to have a glistening, white appearance. The surface temperature reaches a high of just minus 198 degrees Celsius, although the moon may be warmer towards the center. Little was known about the small moon until the two Voyager missions passed nearby in the 1980s. Voyager 2 managed to capture a few sensational color images of the moon, which were promptly beamed back to Earth. From studying these images, scientists deduced that the mysterious moon should be further explored, and so Enceladus was added as a priority destination for the Cassini mission. The frozen moon was intensely studied as the Cassini spacecraft began its first of many flybys in 2005, revealing the surface and environment of the moon in greater detail than ever seen before. The moon's exterior appeared to show a tiger stripe pattern on the surface, a result of looming shadows created by 500 meter high ridges, likely created by tectonic activity within the moon. As the Cassini probe continued its study, more revelations were made apparent. In particular, Cassini discovered water-rich plumes venting from the south polar region of Enceladus, which became an area of great interest to NASA scientists. These jets continuously blast around 250 kilograms of water into space every second, at speeds in excess of 1,200 miles per hour. This is powerful enough to allow most of the water particles to escape Enceladus's weak gravity and form what is now known as Saturn's E-ring, which is blue in color. Cassini, although not designed to sample the ejected vapor, managed to collect and analyze some of the moisture by improvising the use of its onboard cosmic dust analyzer. NASA scientists were quick to redirect the probe to pass through these newly discovered plumes in order to detect what substances were contained within them. After collecting and analyzing these samples, water, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and methane were all detected within the material ejected by the plumes. This provided evidence for a large subsurface ocean under the moon's south pole, making it one of the prime locations to find extraterrestrial life in our solar system. In 2018, after further analysis of the samples collected by Cassini, scientists reported the existence of complex macromolecular organics in the jet plumes. These organics are better known to us as amino acids, which are the building blocks for life as we know it. These amino acids would have most likely formed around hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, and so they are a strong indicator of hydrothermal activity in the Moon's subsurface ocean. Enceladus also has an elliptical orbit, meaning that the Moon will experience strong tidal forces from Saturn, which could potentially heat up a liquid core. Combined, these observations provide substantial evidence for the existence of warm pockets of liquid water. These small pockets may possibly provide the right environment to host an oasis of life. Similar conditions were believed to have been present at the beginning of life here on Earth, as the hydrothermal activity provides nutrients for the amino acids, which can then be used by microbacteria to provide life-giving energy. For this reason, Enceladus has become a prime destination for future scientific missions. Although this time, the missions are a part of a new space race, to find alien life.
Many missions have been proposed to assess the astrobiological potential in the southern ocean of Enceladus, six of which are currently under study. These vary from collecting more data from the water-rich plumes to landing a maneuverable ice mole probe on the icy surface of the moon. NASA's current leading proposal is the Enceladus Life Finder mission. This would see another Cassini-like space probe sent to further analyze the frosted moon's geyser plumes, although this time it would fly ten times closer to the surface in order to collect more complete samples. These samples should contain ice particles from the moon's subsurface ocean, which could contain more concrete evidence the astrobiologists need to identify microbial life. Opposing NASA's planned mission is the German Aerospace Center's Enceladus Explorer. This ambitious mission plans to land an equipped, maneuverable ice mole probe on the surface of Enceladus, which would melt its way through the surface ice to emerge into the Moon's southern ocean. As a result, the ice mole probe would be able to collect undisturbed, high-quality samples from within the ocean, which could then be inspected for life in great detail. Other similar missions are under study by the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the European Space Agency, all with the goal of investigating the potential of life on Enceladus. Hopefully, one of these missions will soon be given the green light, and one day in the not-too-distant future, mankind might be able to confirm the existence of extraterrestrial life. So, does alien life exist on one of Saturn's moons? Enceladus has all the right ingredients to host an oasis of aquatic alien life, although it could equally just be another uninhabited, stunning spectacle in our solar system. While Enceladus is likely to have a subsurface ocean, we now know for sure that there are surface lakes on Titan, another moon of Saturn. These lakes are made of methane and other hydrocarbons, but maybe a different type of life has evolved there. The Cassini spacecraft deployed